critters was trying to figure out what we were doing in that water. And they was trying to figure out what they were doing. Amen, amen, amen. We were in their territory, though. Certainly we thank God for uh, Pastor Simmons and all of you that are here today, and uh, First Lady Simmons, and we are certainly uh, just happy to be here. And we thank you for uh, the theme uh, that you have selected. We thank God for all the, the men singing and yeah. skits. Amen. 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 I'm going to find out what that song is. Yeah. Y'all did the skit right along with the yeah. song. It fit right in. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 And certainly we do need uh, second and third chances as yeah. we go on this journey uh, trying to live for God. Thank Amen. God that he does have grace, mercy, Amen. and love to give us all the opportunities needed. We want to thank our praise team for coming Amen. and singing in the God. Amen. I don't know how we did this because we were planning on this not happening. Me and my wife usually are not uh, split up like this, but she's preaching a uh, Women's Day service for another church, I believe it's Shining Star. So I'm sure some uh, are with her also. And so we're just happy uh, to be here today. So we just ask you to excuse our absence. Uh, the theme scripture has already been read, and it comes out of uh, the Psalm 128. I'll read it again in the New International Version. And it says, Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your sons will be like olive shoots around your table. Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord, May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem, and may you live to see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Amen. As I contemplate upon this theme, uh, living the life of a kingdom man, and the selected scripture. You will have to agree that it is written from the perspective that the man is the head of the household. Because of how it makes reference to the wife within your house. Uh, this presents a problem because we know that 50% of the households in most of our communities that I serve are led by women. Amen. 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 And 75% of the membership of most churches are women. Amen. But what if we could convince the men that are here today, the men that are members of the church today, to live a kingdom-directed life? Amen. I was in a meeting where it was said uh, that 75% of the negative issues in our community could be connected to the absence of the Father. Amen. What, what if we could reverse this data? What do you think could possibly happen? I say we can't. Mama said, yes, we can. I say, yes, we can. I, 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 I believe that we can reverse this. What, so what would be the benefits, according to this psalm, if men were to live a kingdom life and we could reverse the negative data in our community? The first thing it says is you would be blessed. Blessings, God blesses people by giving life, Riches and fruitfulness and plenty, according to Genesis 1.22. 
uh, his greatest blessing is turning us from evil. Amen. Amen. And another blessing he gives us is forgiving all of our sins according to Romans. Amen. Amen. So blessings come, the blessings that come from God, it will make you rich. Amen. Amen. According to the Bible. Amen. And so uh, a blessing from God is a divine a declaration of favor or an implication imploring divine favor or something else that God wants to give you. Amen. And so we know that anything that God gives us is great. Amen. Amen. We know that anything God gives us is good. Amen. We receive blessings on a daily basis Amen. from God. If you woke up this morning, that's a blessing. Amen. If you had food on your table, that's a blessing. If you got gas in your car, that's a real blessing. Amen. 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 Some of y'all got half a tank. Amen. I got a quarter left. I got a quarter left. Amen. As much as gas costs, that's a real blessing. So God has given us plenty of blessings. Amen. The other thing it says, it says that you will eat the fruit of your labor. Come on, man. Amen. Blessing and prosperity will be yours. Now listen, it said, you will eat the fruit of your labor. Amen. Amen. Your labor, your labor is not someone else's labor, but you will eat from the fruit of your labor. God will bless the work that is done with your hands. Amen. If you are willing to work, Amen. God will bless the efforts of your hand and blessings and prosperity will be yours. Amen. Amen. We got some issues. Amen. Amen. Some of us don't want to work, but we want bless. Amen. 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 Some of us, amen, expect our rent to be paid, but we don't want to get a job. Amen. But ain't no way, he said, I will bless the fruit of your labor. Amen. Amen. I'll bless your work. But that means you got to go to work. Amen. Now, now, now this other one, I like pretty well. It, it says, nothing that says your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. And then it says, your son will be like olive shoots around your table. Uh, sisters, it says, your house. Amen. Uh, let me say a little bit about being the head of the household. Amen. 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 According to an article, Black and Married with Children by Edward C. Lee, uh, the generally accepted definition of head of household, as the IRS looks at it, or the IRS sees it, Season as a person that brings in or earns more than half of the income in the household. Well, yeah. Amen. If you make half of the income in the household, you can be considered head of the household according to the IRS designation. But, but however, as a, as a husband and a father, don't we want to be more than just the guy that makes the money? Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 amen. Of course, there are plenty of heads of household that are women too, but this is men's day. We ain't talking about that today. <laughs> amen. But whatever your gender, the head of the household status carries with it the weight of not just providing the money, but providing spiritually, emotionally, physically, and financially. Amen. So if you want to be the king of the kingdom, then you got to, you know, you got to step up. Amen. You can't just come in and lay the check on the table and say, "I've done my job." You ought to be leaders in the house spiritually. You ought to be the first one at Sunday school, the first one at Bible class, the first one at church. Amen. You ought to lead the family at church. The wife ain't got no business showing up at the. Sunday. 
the head of the household should be the one leading in goal setting. Amen. You ought to be able to set some goals for your family. Amen. Amen. You ought to be sitting there telling your kids you, you need to go to college. Uh, you need more than just a high school degree. And if you don't want to go to college, then you need to get you a trade. Amen. 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 You like, uh, you know, uh, the old years ago, amen, when I was young, uh, you know, when you got grown, uh, you either got you a job. That's right. Or you joined the military. That's right. Amen. 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 You're going to do one or two. Amen. 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 You're in the army now. Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. But you weren't going to sit around and lay around amen. and not do anything. Amen. So as head of the household, you ought to be setting some goals for your family. You ought to be planning and pouring into the lives of everyone in the household. Amen. 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 According to this psalm, uh, if you do this as a kingdom man of God, then it says also that your wife will be a fruitful vine in your house. When I read this, it took me back to a good place in my childhood. I used to love uh, to, uh, to the fruit trees and, and, and the grape vines that, that grew in my neighborhood. I don't know what happened, what's going on now, but we used to have plenty of fruit trees Amen. and grapevines in our neighborhood. There was, there was one uh, grapevine that grew some of the juiciest grapes. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, and, and I love uh, going to this grapevine. And then uh, there was a cherry tree in my neighborhood that, that had some sweet cherries. And then uh, there was an apple tree and, and a peach tree. Man, you didn't even have to go home for lunch when I grew up. Amen. You just get out the house and that. They had plenty. And I grew up in Hallville, USA, y'all. Just so y'all know. These kind of things used to exist. I don't know where they are now. I don't know if that's a sign of the time that our neighborhood is dying, but we used to have life uh, in our neighborhood. You could leave in the morning and and, and just eat, uh, amen, off the land, amen, uh, mulberry bushes and all this kind of fruit. And then in the fall, there was a pear tree, amen, in the neighborhood that had pears that grew on it that was that big, amen. Good, good, good pear. So when I, when, I, when, when I saw, I saw all this, all these trees that existed in Hallville, USA, uh, can you let your imagination just go with me for a while, amen, and just think for a minute when the Bible says your wife will be this fruitful vine in your house, amen, think about that, <laughs>
and it is surrounded uh, by several young, thrifty shoots all around the base of it. And, and, and when, when they spring up uh, the root of the old tree, and you look at the old tree as being the parent, amen, because it's usually the illustration talking about the household, but this tree is the parent, and it's got all these little young stems around the base of it, and they seem to uphold and to protect and embrace the base of that tree. Amen, amen. They now bear uh, the lead fruit, which is, uh, would otherwise be demanded of the feeble parent. You know, otherwise this tree would have to bear all of these olives by itself, but the base of the tree, these young tender plants around the tree help it to bear fruit. And so because you are blessed and, and because of the work with your hands and because of your leadership that you provided as head of the household, it said you will have good and affectionate children gathered around your table of righteousness. Isn't that what it says? Amen. Is something wrong with your tree or all you got is bad children? Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 And then it said, each one is contributing something to the common wealth and welfare of the whole family. Amen. Amen. We done messed up like kids, y'all. Yeah. yeah. We just about messed them up. I'm almost through preaching too, y'all. So, but, but, but we just about uh, messed up our kids. I, I had a young man in church. I ain't gonna forget this. Years, years ago, and, and the boy was, uh, he wasn't affectionate. Uh, uh, he needed some help. I said, told him, she was a single mom, I said, let me have him for the summer, just for a minute. Said, what you going to do? I said, I'm just going to help him. Uh, hey amen. Well, you ain't got to have all the details. Uh, hey amen. But uh, I can make him cut grass. I can put him to work. I can put a shelf in his hand. I'm going to make him. I'm going to do something to change mind about some things. I was going to pay him. I was going to pay him. And I had a pretty big yard. And uh, and she went and saw my yard. And I had the line boy. It was one of them pulling things. I had a pretty modern line boy. It wasn't no sick I'm going to make him cut, but nothing else. Y'all, we used to. Bring something to the house. Amen. 
she had a toy parent die, and her mama made her give up some of her check. Now she didn't need her money, but she made her give her some. Yeah. Amen. Some of y'all looking at that paper. Some of y'all got some good jobs. <laughs> but y'all ain't asked for a dime. Hey Amen. Honey, listen, listen, listen. My grandson had a nerve enough talking about his birthdays in August, August 21st, and he showed me a picture of some shoes. <laughs> and I said, picture on the phone. He ain't even got to go to work no more. This is y'all. And I looked at them phone, and I looked at them, and they were LeBron something. And $317. And I said, uh, have you lost your mind? <laughs> You know what you're going to do uh, for 370 for some shoes to, to, to walk in. Do they fly? <laughs> I mean, I mean, do they make you jump eight feet in the air to fly like a You know, can you jump like a rod if I get you these shoes? Amen. Uh, now I make you just think with your jealous. Other than that, you want to get you a job.
of his crown for just a while. He died on Friday, but early Sunday morning. He got up with all power in his hand. And he was restored to the right hand of the throne. I don't know about you, but he's my king. He's my leader. And we need the men of the kingdom. And that song, y'all sung it, appropriate song. Rise and take charge. Yeah, amen. amen. You need to rise and take charge of your house. Yeah. You need to rise Come and on. take charge of your family. Well, we need to rise and take charge of this city, this state, this nation, this world. 75% of the issues are surrounded around the absentee father. We need to stand up. We need to be men of the kingdom. Amen. amen. And we are kingdom material. Don't think, look, don't let nobody tell you you're not kingdom material. I know how sometimes people can talk about us pretty bad, amen. Talk about that good for nothing this and you ain't going to mount to nothing. But that ain't what God said. God can take a nobody and make them somebody. He can wrap them in his blood, fill them with the power of his Holy Ghost, and you'll think that he was born that way. with just 300, what they would do a lot. You are kingdom material. Don't you let nobody tell you because of your educational level, you're not kingdom material. Because of the mistakes you made that you're not kingdom material. You are kingdom material. If you will decide today to become men of the kingdom, the Lord will bless you from Zion. All, he said, all the days of your life. And you will see prosperity. You will see prosperity. And you will live wrong. Because it said you will live to see your children's children. Amen. 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 You will live to see God bless your grandchildren. Amen. Amen. Let's make a decision today to be kingdom men of God. Don't you want your house to be blessed? Don't you want your children to be blessed? If you're a kingdom man, you can pray and God will answer. Amen. Amen. If you're a kingdom God, a kingdom man, you know how to pray. And you know how to, and don't worry. Don't worry. Listen, listen, listen. If you did not have a good example, I'm one of the that didn't have a good example. I I grew up under a rock by myself. I uh, I had some good days, but at the age of 14, I, I was given away. Amen. And I grew up in foster homes. And amen. At the age of 18, I was homeless, sleeping, sleeping in the street. And uh, 19, well, I, when I got, I graduated high school. I just graduated out of high school. And uh, my reward for graduating from high school, they didn't buy me no tennis shoes. Uh, they told me where the door was. Amen. And I put all my stuff in a paper sack in the middle of January. I thought I was being smart, trying to graduate early. I should have graduated in June. <laughs> the summertime, but I you remember when you could graduate early, a semester early, and I made a mistake to graduate early, so you graduated, and so you were on your own. And so there I was with a brown paper sack, amen, and nowhere to go. Amen. And I slept in abandoned houses uh, for uh, that whole year, amen. Amen. So I, I, you wouldn't know it by looking at me because God was looking after me, but I just didn't know it. Amen. Amen. And so I did that Anton Fisher thing, whatever that's what it was in the Navy. Uh, I went to the Navy and told them, amen, that I wanted to join. And they only gave me the test uh, because of a joke, because I was nasty, dirty, stinking, hair long. I was that guy that you walk by on the street that you wouldn't give a dime to. That was me. Y'all didn't know that was me. Y'all Some of y'all won't pass me. Amen. Amen. Spiritually. But that was me. I was hair all matted. I had an afro this big when I graduated. So when you don't wash it for about a month or something, a few months, it gets all matted down. It was nasty. I was so stinking and dirty. Uh, that the police was chasing me one time and I laid on this porch 
and I pulled this nasty rug on top of him. And the police dog came up there and tried to find me, and he couldn't even sniff me out. That's how nasty and dirty I was. That's what I started out. And so when I went into the recruiting office, they were laughing, and they gave me the test. And I scored so high on that test. They came out and said, who are you? Check, ask him if I was very black. And they did. And I graduated. 